Let's turn briefly to yourself. When you resigned as president in August 2008, did you step down voluntarily? Or was there a sense in which you were pushed or eased out? Well, a combination. Uh, the environment had become such that remaining uh, a, a rubber stamp president uh, with no uh, nothing to do, literally, uh, was absolutely counterproductive. And uh, uh, the political situation was evolving in a manner that my continuation uh, would have been, uh, was, was aimless, was purposeless. So circumstances developed in such a way that you were gently eased out. Yes. And I took my own decision, yes, to leave. Was there any understanding at that time between the civilian government and the army that you should be given indemnity or protection against future lawsuits and prosecutions? No, 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 I didn't get in, involved in any such understanding uh, at all. I didn't get involved in such When you say you didn't get involved, does that mean that there also wasn't such an understanding or I just that you know, weren't involved? Not to my knowledge, not to my knowledge at all. You mean there could be indemnity but you're not aware of it? I absolutely am not aware of it and I don't know it. Does it ever worry you that you might end up facing court action or lawsuits in Pakistan? Well, I know that whatever I did was uh, legally indemnified by the courts by the assembly, so therefore... Except that now that the Chief Justice who you removed is back in saddle. Yes. So doesn't that worry you? Well, one has to face realities on ground and I'll face them. So you are aware that there could be trouble ahead, but you're going to face it. No, yeah, I, I don't... Uh, uh, I'm not a man who runs away from realities. You're prepared to face lawsuits if they're brought against you? Oh, well, let, let them bring lawsuits and prove anything against you. Two questions that always intrigue people. When one looks back at the cascading events that led to your resignation, they all seem to have begun with your decision to dismiss the Chief Justice. Do you think in hindsight that was a mistake? No, it was what happened after that was bad and that led to a lot of turmoil in Pakistan, certainly. But if you say that whether it was a mistake, no, we, I took absolutely action which was absolutely constitutional and legal. So if you... A reference coming to me through the Ministry of Law, through the Prime Minister, the President constitutionally is obliged to take action on it. And I took absolutely legal and constitutional action when I forwarded it to the Supreme Judicial Council. So you stand by the decision to dismiss the Chief Justice? Absolutely. I. Uh, it was the court which had to decide whether the reference sent by the Prime Minister to the President and the President sends it constitutionally to the Supreme Judicial Council. It is the Supreme Judicial Council which had to decide. Do you think even if the decision itself was correct, it could have been handled differently? Yes, it could have been. The, the handling, uh, I would say, was uh, shabby, certainly. Handling of the Chief Justice was shabby. Do you blame and yourself secondly, Do you blame yourself No, I don't blame myself because I don't get into the nitty-gritty of which the deputy superintendent of police was rude to him or his some cars were taken before or something of that sort. Now, I'm not passing such so orders at all. So, people who should have handled it better, people who worked under you, let you down? Well, it was not, it was not merely this handling of the Supreme, uh, of the Chief Justice. It was the politicization of the lawyers' movement which did the damage. A and that was where the political parties entered the fray, came into the streets, supported the lawyers, and that is what went 